a lot of people who have this problem are dealing with pain on a daily basis. You know, they, they feel discomfort, they feel locking, they feel catching. And so a lot of patients feel significantly better after they haven't done because it's sort of like having a pebble in your shoe that you step on every once in a while and then somebody removes that pebble, you're going to feel better. Um, so they do deal with some of the recovery, which is, you know, inflammation and they have to work through getting range of motion back. So so there are hard parts to the to the recovery, but at least you don't have that pebble in your shoe anymore. All right. So the Eagles hitting the practice field without Kelsey this morning. For more on the five time pro bowler and his timetable for return, we go to Pat Gallen at the Novacare Complex. Pat. Yeah, DB, we thought that the stories of the day would be the searing heat and or Eagles and their first game against the New York Jets on Friday. But instead, we got word that the heart and soul of the team is going to miss some time. How much? That's TBD. Eagles All-Pro center Jason Kelsey had surgery on his elbow. As you mentioned, there is no timetable for his return. The birds are saying it was a routine cleanup. There's hope that he returns for week one in Detroit against the Lions. But there's no word yet on how the injury occurred. But nonetheless, this is a big deal, especially if Jason Kelsey is forced to miss any time in the regular season. We spoke with the voice of the Eagles, Merrill Reese, about the injury. Merrill, are you worried? No, no, not at all. Not when you're talking about an offensive line that features uh, the two all, well, three all pros when Kelsey's in there. And of course, Jordan Mailata over at left tackle and Lane Johnson over at right tackle. And Siamalo at right guard, and Landon Dickerson at left guard. So they are they are fine. This group, you can get to, I, I honestly believe, this group can assemble 15 minutes before the game, and send them out there, and they they know each other's nuances. They they will be fine. So Merrill Reese feeling confident that Jason Kelsey will be ready for week one last year, playing at maybe the highest level of his career. Fourth time in his career, he was named an All-Pro as a center. He is one of the best ever to do it. He could be in Canton one day, but if it's not Jason Kelsey in week one, it'll be second round pick from Nebraska, Cam Jurgens. So with Jalen Hurts under center, with a rookie in front of him, that's enough to give fans some anxiety. Live outside the Novacare Complex, I'm Pat Gallen, CBS3, Eyewitness Sports TV. Back to you. Pat, thank you. Come